ओके गूगल वॉट इज द लेटेस्ट वर्जन ऑफ एंड्रॉइड According to PC Advisor, the latest version is Android 7 Nougat, which will become available for more devices over the coming months. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Steffi Mania, and today I'm going to add a new series to this channel, which is called as Top Five. So, the first upload on this series will be. top 5 android nugget features android nugget is basically the seventh version of the android and it was officially announced by google on october 2020 2016 with google pixel devices of course and since then all the flagship devices like samsung galaxy s7 s7 edge stc 10 uh, moto z and uh, oneplus 3 and oneplus 3t of course they all have been updated to the latest version of android at least 7.0 and i have a google nexus 6p and right now i have the best what google has to offer in my device that is 7.1.2 so here are the top 5 features of android nugget that is 7.1.2 so number 5 is dose on the go this is actually the second version of the dose uh, the first version of the dose was introduced by google in android 6 or you can say android marshmallow and in that version you need to keep your smartphone on a flat surface for some time for the dose to actually start working but in the nugget version of the dose which we call uh, the dose on the go in that version it's not compulsory it's not there is no foundation you need to keep your smartphone on a flat surface the dose will still work if you keep your smartphone in your pocket or you can keep your smartphone in your backpack and the how the dose actually works is as soon as you turn off the display uh, your smartphone is put into a less power consuming mode so that you can get the maximum out of your battery life what actually happening here is that number of processes active in the background has been reduced by google by optimizing the apps which puts your android phone in a less power consuming mode you can see which of the apps are optimized by going to settings and type dose in the search toggle and selecting battery optimization then selecting all apps you can see which apps are optimized and google has actually increased the number of apps that are optimized from the dose still there are some apps for which the battery optimization is not available and from the last version of the android google has literally reduced the amount of these apps and the dose is actually helping suppose if your smartphone battery percentage is 95% when you go to sleep and when you wake up in the morning the battery percentage will be 92% or 93% so actually the dose is still working and it's really a nice feature so with the dose and without the dose Feature number four is to switch between the most recent apps, and you can do that just by double tapping the recent app button. And I think of all the features in the Android Nugget, this is the most usable. And as far as I am concerned, it's my favorite. I use it every time I turn on my phone. And uh, you know, I use it so much now. Now I wonder why it didn't come to the earlier versions of the Android. And to use and understand this feature, let's open an application. and uh, let's open another application now to go to the first application instead of first pressing the home button and then launching the application you can do all that just by double tapping the recent app button and you know it's this easy and very useful so thumbs up if you also like this feature now number 3 is the fingerprint gesture it was one of the most anticipated features on android 7.1.2 other companies like huawei have been doing it from a long time but google just included it in their most recent update and the gesture here actually is just swipe down the fingerprint sensor and it will bring down the notification shade and you know doing the same again it will bring down the quick shortcuts and for big smartphones like nexus 6p these features are very very useful see i have bigger hands than normal people and you know using the phone with a single hand and pulling the notification panel down it was you know very difficult and i cannot do it without any awkwardness and you know there's always a chance of the phone falling down from my hands so google nice work and hey let me see if you can add one more gesture you know double tap the fingerprint sensor to turn off the display i don't think anyone will mind that i'm just saying you know i'm just saying now the feature number 2 it was the most anticipated feature in the android nugget and i think you might have guessed it too yes it's the multi window update i mean samsung has been doing it for years now it has included this feature in its mid range phones it is starting level range phones in its flagship phones but i don't know why google took it so long to understand that this is an important feature 
but i am glad finally it's here so better late than never right and to use this feature either you can press and hold the recent app button while on any particular app that you want to use with another app as soon as you do that half of the screen is covered by the app which was already open and in the other half recent app menu will be opened and you can select the other app you want to use simultaneously with the first one and the second way to use multi window is go to the recent app menu tap and hold an app which you want to use simultaneously with a second app now drag that app the first app to the upper half of the screen and from the recent apps menu you can select the second app for the other half and while using two apps via multi window feature you can press the home button and go to the home screen and you can open any other app also but remember new app will only open on the lower half of the screen always here i sometimes miss samsung features where you can switch the upper and the lower app on the multi window but nevertheless it's still good work by google so finally here we are feature number 1 and yes is the google assistant initially google didn't launch it for the phones other than the google pixel but now it has launched for the other phones also and it has made it open source and also which means that my nexus device also got a google assistant it was earlier available in the google allo app only which is google's messaging app but now it's present in the interface it's basically more of a personal assistant version of google now or you can say it's a hybrid of siri and google now i don't know it's just a good addition you know and it can do all what google now did and it can do much more than that it works the same way as google now did you can say okay google on any screen or even when the screen is turned off you can say okay google or you can just touch and hold the home button it can now follow up the questions also like okay google who is the prime minister of india narendra modi is the prime minister of india where does he live when did he become the prime minister of india Do you like him? See, it has become a lot smarter than we thought. So, excellent work Google, it was needed. So guys, that's been it. These were the top 5 features of Android Nugget 7.1.2. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. But if you did, you can hit the like button and also you can hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. So guys, I am taking off now. You take good care of yourself. and i'll talk to you later namaste